this is Bluebird. In this video, we're going to talk about why copper is the preferred material in distilling and why distillers love using it so much. So, let's go! One of the reasons distillers love copper so much is because it's just so pretty to look at. Another reason distillers love copper so much is because it's malleable compared to other metals such as stainless steel. And by malleable, I mean that it's soft and it's easy to bend and shape into stills. Malleable is defined as of a metal or other material being able to be hammered or pressed permanently out of shape without breaking or cracking. Copper is a very good conductor of heat energy, and heat conduction is the transfer of heat upon physical contact. So that means when you put your wash into a copper still, it will heat up faster than, say, a stainless steel, so the distillation will happen faster. As well, in a condenser, say a warm tub condenser that's made with copper tubing, the copper will be able to quickly offload the heat into the cooling water, so the distillate vapors will be able to cool down and condense back into a liquid faster. And the number one reason distillers love copper is because it reacts with many compounds and removes them to create a more refined and cleaner tasting spirit. The most well-known compounds that copper reacts with are sulfur compounds. And sulfur compounds have been described as raw meat, overcooked vegetables, um, rotten eggs, rubbery, or lit matches. Distillers are most worried about hydrogen sulfide, which has a rotten egg aroma, dimethyl sulfide, DMS, which has a canned corn aroma, and dimethyl trisulfide, DMTS, which has a cooked vegetable aroma. People can detect hydrogen sulfide aroma at a pretty low level, so that's why we work so hard to get rid of it. Luckily, hydrogen sulfide is also fairly volatile, so much so that it will often blow off from the new make spirit on its own when you leave your holding tank exposed to air. So these are all not very nice flavors that you would want in your final spirit, especially in large quantities. So in the still, we have all these hot vapors passing through that contain all these undesirable sulfur compounds. And these sulfur compounds will come in direct contact with the copper. And the copper will react with these sulfur compounds to form copper salts, which will fall back down into the pot of the still. And then when the distillation is over, these copper salts will be removed from the stillage. This is how copper helps to remove these undesirable flavors from the final spirit. So we get a nicer, cleaner tasting spirit at the end of our distillation, rather than something that tastes dirty and meaty and like rotten eggs. Interestingly, there was a study done where researchers performed distillations with a small lab-sized copper still and stainless steel still. They performed some distillations where they replaced one segment of the stainless steel still at a time with a copper segment to see how much changing from stainless steel to copper would affect the amount of DMTS in the final distillate. Just a reminder that DMTS stands for dimethyl trisulfide and is a specific sulfur compound that has a vegetable aroma. From these experiments, they found that copper was most efficient at removing DMTS when it was placed either in the wash still condenser or the spirit still pot. So what this result means for us as distillers is that if we don't have enough money to fully invest in a copper still, and we can only purchase a stainless steel still, but we want to put some copper in it, then the best place to put it would be in the wash still condenser or the spirit still pot. So with some stills that you purchased, you are able to customize the stills to your liking, so you can switch out different parts. So it is possible to just switch out the condenser element or just switch out the pot segment of the still. And the exact reasons why these areas of the stills are more efficient at reducing DMTS than other sections of the stills still needs to be investigated further. 
Another possible benefit of copper is that it could catalyze some esterification reactions in the spirit during distillation. So copper acts as a catalyst, and in chemistry, a catalyst is a substance that increases the rate of a reaction without itself being consumed. So the copper is bringing about these esterification reactions, and these esterification reactions, as the name implies, form esters which we really care about as distillers, as esters are flavor compounds that contribute to the flavor profiles of the spirits that we're making. We aren't 100% sure that copper is catalyzing these esterification reactions because esterification reactions are known to occur at high temperatures as well. So these reactions could be a result of the high temperature during distillation. There's debate on what effect copper has on the formation of ethyl carbamate. And ethyl carbamate is classified as a group 2A carcinogen by the International Agency for Research on Cancer, which means it probably, <laughs> it probably increases your risk for cancer. Some research points to copper decreasing the formation of ethyl carbamate, while other research points to copper decreasing the formation of ethyl carbamate. So obviously more research has to be done on this subject, although the majority of the research right now seems to point that copper increases the formation of ethyl carbamate. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning why copper is so important and beloved by distillers. In the meantime, please support this channel by giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a comment down below, and hitting the subscribe button for more distilling and brewing and drinks videos. This is Brewbird, sending good vibes your way. I'll see you next time.